sweet love and I'm here <laughs> to do your monthly spiritual guidance from spirit your guides Jesus Allah the universe whatever it is you believe in this is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of August so let me just give this disclaimer right now I truly feel within my heart this by far is the best <laughs> reading now let me tell you something Aquarius you may have experienced something life-changing, something that, you know, was a, let me tell you something. The underdog is coming to my mind. Okay. You know, when you, you, you've been having like some bad luck. Okay. And then, you know, when like you strike gold. Okay. This is what we're talking about right now. Okay. So I want to let every single beautiful soul know that is watching this. Okay. It may resonate with you and it may not. However, there are so many sweet souls that are sharing their gifts via social media. You're going to find someone who picks up on your energy. Okay. But I do set the intent that everyone who stumbles upon this video, that they are able to walk away with something that will transform their life this month or whenever you see this video. So just stay tuned. Okay. If you um, would like to schedule a personal session with me or how to contact me, my social medias, follow me on Instagram at Tori the Hope Diller dot, not dot com. <laughs> I'm thinking about my website that is currently being making right now, but Tori the Hope Diller, okay? You can follow me on Instagram. I'm definitely going to start going live, being more active over there. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe. Now, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification button, all those social media things, okay? I'm friendly. Now we're gonna get into this, okay? So what I was guided to do this month, okay, is I wanna let you know that August is going to be very life-changing for the group of Aquariuses that I am reading for, <laughs> okay? So I wanna let you know that. So I got a channeled message during meditation for you guys. Once I get um through that, then we're gonna go ahead and let the divine flow. Just let you, any information that you need to be aware of, what you need to know in the month of August or whenever you are viewing this Aquarius. Then we're gonna go ahead after that and get into your monthly spiritual guidance where I'm gonna go over love, what you need to know in the month of August for love, your finances, self-care, what's gonna be crowning you, what are you gonna be thinking about, what is the divine gonna be placing on your heart, what do you need to keep at the forefront of your mind, all of those good things to really help you get the most out of August and the most out of where your life is going. Okay, I want to bring that clarity. I want to bring whatever it is that, you know, the divine has for you forth so you can really process that this month. Okay, so let's just get into it. Let me take a sip of my tea, honey, because it's about to get real. It's about to get real, real, because I'm so proud of you, Aquarius, because I really feel like Aquarius at times is underestimated and you in the month of August, you're standing in your power. You are going within. You are going deep within, finding the strength and the courage to stand up to who or whatever, even if it's you and just say enough is enough. All right. And with those words and that energy that you are bringing into your life, Aquarius, you are knocking down walls. Okay, blocks, you are clearing stuff out of your way. Okay, I just see a clearer, like a horizon, like you can see the horizon, you can almost taste it. Okay, so when I was in meditation, what I got for my Love Muffins Aquarius is okay. Um, as you know, the titles, I don't just make this up, the divine gives it to me and it plays out within your life for the month. So when the divine told you, ground yourself, okay. 
It is very important in the month of August, get on YouTube, look at a grounding exercise, okay? Um, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do, this is the easy peasy for me, okay? A beautiful soul helped me figure this out, Aquarius. And um, if you're not familiar, you can ground yourself in any way. Just make sure that your hands are, you know, not your hands, <laughs> your, your palms are open like this at your sides or in front of you. You can close your eyes. You can keep them open. I like to do this before I'm speaking. Um, if I'm, if I'm, an anxiety is flaring around, if my emotions are all over the place, like I'm in a, cause I'm an empath. So I feel energy. So when I go to like a beach, when I go to a grocery store, especially Walmart, like, oh my God. Ooh, <laughs> I am just like picking up on everybody's vibes, everybody's energy, and it's just too much for me and my anxiety flares up. So I like to ground myself. Something that I, you can do where you're talking and people don't even know what you're doing in your mind. Your eyes can be open or shut. Just make sure your palms are open, okay, at your side, um, you know, and your feet are grounded on the floor. And what I want you to do is, Aquarius, I want you to imagine a lush, healthy, like the tree of life, <laughs> a healthy tree over the top of your head, okay? If you can't imagine a tree over the top of your head, I want you to imagine roots growing out of this tree, okay? If you can't imagine a tree coming out of your head, I want you to imagine a picture frame, okay, of a tree. And then once you do that, either or, I want you to imagine this tree in the picture or the tree itself growing roots out from the tree, coming down into the crown of your head, going all the way through your body. Roots are just flowing all the way through your body and coming through the soles of your feet, okay, into the ground, all right? And you should start to feel some tingliness, okay, or some coldness. And if it doesn't come right away, just calm down. You're doing it right. Don't worry. Eventually, just keep seeing those roots ascend and come out of your feet into the ground. And you're going to feel something, okay? <laughs> you're going to feel a little something. And then what you're going to do, Aquarius, you're going to send those roots deeper, deeper, deeper into the ground. And you're going to imagine those roots like getting thick and just getting all into the earth, all just going down, 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 all the way into this big source of light, okay? Grounding you at the core of the earth, okay? And the divine's light, all right? And then you're going to imagine that light coming back into those roots, coming all the way up to you. You're going to breathe in really deep. Exhale, and you're done. That's how you ground yourself, okay? I know that was a lot, <laughs> but I wanted to give that to somebody. That's an easy way to ground yourself. You don't gotta get online and find a 15 minute, you know, the water is down the aisles, you know? Cause sometimes that can just throw you off sometimes. It's okay, you can really do this by yourself. So when the divine told you Aquarius to really um, get grounded, it's important that you ground yourself, that you take a stance, okay? Because your life is changing. Your life is changing. Something has shifted. A tower has fell, okay? A tower has fell. An illusion has broken, okay? You have become aware of something, something that you desire, okay? Something that you're over with. You're just moving past it, okay? And I really feel like this changes that you're making mentally in your belief system, okay, whatever it is, Aquarius, it is for the better. Um, I just feel like you're really growing into yourself in the month of August, really growing in your power, growing in your strength, you know, being aware of who you are. And this is why all this miraculous change and this forward movement is coming um, forth because I really feel like after this tower moment, when that bridge, when the, when the last stick breaks, okay, <laughs> you ever seen, you know, Jenga, what's that little thing where you got to put the little pieces on and you build it and then like that piece, that little last piece gets on there. And like, sometimes you got to pull it and then it just come falling down. I really feel like something like that has happened in your life or is about to happen. Okay. But I promise you, I know that it may look shitty. I know that it may look like, oh my God, no, but allow it to happen. This is divinely orchestrated. This is to get things shaken, Aquarius. This is to get you inspired about your life and where your life is going and what you want for your life. I promise you, because there is going to be great breakthrough of some sort. OK, in some area of your life, defining your relationship, love, money, spirituality, and for some of you, all of the above. So this is why it's super intense for you in the month of August. OK, but I promise you, this change is unavoidable. You can run from it, but you cannot hide. 
Okay, this is divinely orchestrated. This is of God. This is this is meant to happen. Okay, Aquarius. And I feel like the more that you just go with the flow, baby, I promise you, all is gonna be well. Okay, it is a blessing in disguise. A blessing in disguise is what I'm hearing. Okay, <laughs> so that is what I got for my lovely Aquarius during meditation. Now we're just gonna open up the floor, open up the table for the divine to really flow. And just what does Aquarius really need to focus on or know in the month individuality? Oh, oh, it's time for you to be you, Aquarius. And with all this, this kind of looks like red, okay? But it kind of like looks like orange to me too, okay? Now, 111 is a divine number, all right? It is the God number. It's time for you to step into your purpose. It's time for you to go. And, and this purpose, individuality, is not what people told you your purpose is. Individuality means you. Individuality, not what someone said was for you or what you're supposed to be doing. I don't care who's giving that message. You have to go with inside you. It's time for you to emerge. It's time for you to be you. It's time for you to stand on your own feet with this um, red, okay, it's all about your root chakra. This is why you have to get grounded. And another way to get grounded too is when you eat fruits and vegetable in the red category. I like easy peasy, okay? Um, but I really feel like you're creating something. It's time for you to create something of your own. It's time for you to walk away from everybody else's legacies and everybody else's expectations of you and whatever they're putting on you and for you to come into your own individuality, individuality i think i want to read that to you guys is look hold on to what this card says it says this card indicates a need to embrace your individual indiv oh my god individuality that word and to be true to who aquarius you authentical self rather than follow the crowd you're being guided to break away from the pack and take the road less traveled so like I said, some of you are walking away from a whole, a, a way of a legacy of a way of something has always been done, whether it's in spirituality, I, I'm really feeling like g gaining your own sense of stability, even when it comes to religion, you know, um, what, how you're, how you do things, your family, like somebody is like, Okay. You're really coming into your own. And I know that can be scary. Okay. I know that can be scary. And there's a little fear around really being who you are, Aquarius, and really being true to yourself, really going for the career, really doing the things, creating a life that you desire. I know there's a little nervous on it, but baby, you got to do it. Listen to me. My God, you have to do it. When you being true to you, that is when the things that are for you, Aquarius, will come to you. Love, finances, career. The, I had to learn this because you know what? I did not have this amount of success, okay, that I have now when I was trying to do what everybody else was trying to tell me to do and to how I need to live my life and how I should go about it. It wasn't until I broke away, did something totally out of the norm, totally what was totally against practically everything Everybody that I loved outside of my mom and my sisters, <laughs> they said I was of Satan, honey. You know, like they really went ham in me. And I feel like it's time for you to step into something that maybe it's a, it's a road less traveled. Maybe it's shunned upon. Maybe, um, you know, it's just not, it's just not what, it's just not for you is what I'm hearing. Okay. For some of you, I'm feeling like your sexuality too. All right. It's time for you to be true for you. It's time for you to come out of the closet, whether that's your sexuality, whether it's something that you don't want to partake in anymore. Like I want to live my own life. Like I want to, I want to be me. Okay. I want to be an individual. Okay. I don't want to go with the crowd, you know, and sometimes that can be a little scary because there's, but you, when you decide to be you and honor yourself, Aquarius, there are so many people, places and things that's going to come up against you, but I promise you, you got this. Okay. You're not in a little weakling. <laughs> Okay, Yo, Aquarius is some of the most smartest, sweetest, compassionate, strength, honest, loyal individuals. I promise you. Okay, yeah, like this feel is so different. Like it's just y'all about to really do some amazing things. 
Rather than follow the crowd, you're being guided to break away from the pack, take the road less traveled. Instead of feeling like you're a square peg in a round hole, you're being encouraged to build your own square hole. By drawing this card, you are being called upon to step up to the plate and celebrate your uniqueness. At this time, you must have the courage to speak your truth and march to the beat of your own drum despite the opinions of those around you. What others think of you isn't your business, Aquarius. It isn't at all, okay? And take it from your Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, I don't care what nobody think about me. That's not my business. That's not my business. How you feel about me and what I'm doing. That's not my business. And you have to come into that. Some people take that as being cocky, but no, you gotta listen. Like your life is your life. You live over there. I'm gonna live over here. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And you do what you wanna do. Sometimes you gotta be like that. To family, friends, whatever. Period. You gotta be like that sometimes. It says, in order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycle of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to embrace your indiv individuality as you step into your power, as your true authentic self, you will improve your relationships with others and your overall quality of life or affirmation that you can repeat to yourself. Write this down, Aquarius. It says, I embrace my individuality and become my true authentic self. So y'all are headed to some great stuff. And when you really be you, Aquarius, this is when everything is going to line up in your life. The finances, the money, the big shebang, the coin, the bag, it's going to come. I promise you, the love that you want, okay? Because y'all are givers and y'all are very romantic. Like, I didn't see some Aquarius. I'm like, you know, I want an Aquarius. <laughs> I want an Aquarius. I didn't see a couple of Aquarius, you know, like y'all, y'all really, y'all are really like, you know, the biz knees and I'm not tooting no horns. I'm being dead serious. Okay. Like seriously, <laughs> listen, self-discipline. It's time to get disciplined too. Okay. It's time to get disciplined. It's time for you to step up. You are a natural born leader. It's time to stop playing small Aquarius. Okay. And also we have financial discipline. Okay, look at this. Okay, it's time. It's time for some of you to really just step into your purpose. You know, what you define that purpose is not what you were told your purpose. You can do whatever you put your mind up to. It's time for you to step up though and take leadership of your life. Let's get one more card before we get into this monthly spiritual guidance. Look at that. Yeah, a rebirth. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I'm so happy. I feel like when you release some truth, when you come off your chest, when you woo and just say what's on your mind, when you just don't care, when you let it all loose, okay? Aquarius, when you come into your individuality, when you find self-control, self-discipline, I know those words can seem very offensive, okay? I want to talk about this because I came from a background of Christianity and the people that I counsel and really work with on a one-to-one, -one, I'm very mindful of the words that I use, like disobedient, you know, um, certain words. Like even when I say God, y'all notice that source is all things. I don't know, inquiries. why am I having this intimate conversation with you? <laughs> but I um, like to say universe because God, self-discipline, self-control, obedience for people that... Um, has been in a certain place because I, you know, I've been there. I, that's why I can help people come out of, um, cults and stuff because I was in a modern day cult. So people that have been exposed to those kind of words and you look at them in a negative sense, automatically those are triggers. So you run from that. Okay. Um, you know, but there is nothing wrong with self control, self discipline. Um, because with those things in my life, Aquarius, I have really found some amazing things. It's all about what person is telling you that. Are there is their character questionable? Okay. Are they exercising um self control and self discipline in their life? Okay. You know, you gotta look at who's who's the messenger. Okay. Who's the messenger? You got to, we got to start looking at stuff and that's not judging people. But when it comes to you, this is why it's good for you to be about you. Okay. And I feel like in the month of, um, 
August, a lot of you are reconnecting with relationships, twin flames. You're going to be leaving a relationship and coming together with your twin flame. And honestly, if you're single, I just feel like your twin flame is somewhere around you. Okay. Maybe after this. Yeah, look. Look, manifestation after this great rebirth of you stepping in your power, you gaining your confidence. OK, if you've been waiting on love, if you've been desiring that that connection, that divine connection. OK, I feel like for some of you, you could probably know, too, but for some it's coming. OK, it's coming. Just let you know that now we're going to go ahead and get into your monthly spiritual guidance. OK, my loves, we are back to go ahead and get into your monthly spiritual guidance. So I do want to let you all know this, Aquarius. I'm loving this energy that you're in. OK. I know, I just feel like once you face something, once you come into the re realization of something, I just feel like there's a lot of healing going in. There's a lot of purging. There's a lot of releasing. And like in this energy, like I, you can honestly conquer your, like you can do whatever you want to do. I just feel so motivated, so pumped up, ready to go just at peace. And I feel like this peace, it's just like a new dawn. Even this, this sun just poking out is really just like taking a toll. It's just... Yeah, it's just so much. <laughs> Even with you being a little confused, because I am feeling a little confusion about some things, about the direction, like what's the next step, how we're going, or or how we're going to make this next step. But nonetheless, your energy is very lighter. Okay, very very lighter, very good in the month of August. Okay, so now we're going to just see what's going to be crowning Aquarius. What are going to be some of the things that's on your mind, the things that the divine are going to be downloading onto you. First thing up, honey, we got relationship dynamics. You are really executing. And honestly, this is platonical, meaning family, friends and in love. For some of you, just take it how, how to shoe fit, okay? You're really evaluating your relationships. You're really realizing that, are these people for me or are they not for me? Do, are they adding to me? Or are they taking from me? Do they, um, you know, do they value my worth or are they using me? Like, you're really examining your relationship dynamics, okay? For some of you, like I said, you are, you know, some of you are really um, <laughs> feeling somebody, you know, I feel like there's a lot of reconnections from the past. OK, for some of you, it's a twin flame. For some of you, it's someone in the past that you guys have recently, you know, reconnected of some sort. I don't feel like there's much communication, um, but energetically, you guys are thinking about each other. And I feel like you're really you're crowning um you're crowning each other and it's kind of like it's giving me smiles <laughs> like I just feel like really jittily like really girly like just all these like these there's a person Aquarius oh my god <laughs> there is a person that just really like gives you butterflies just really makes your heart like boom 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 like there is a person that when you think about them that oh my god this is just so sweet this is just so like filled with love oh my god if you're a cross watcher and you're watching for an Aquarius they really they really feel for you I don't know how they gonna feel about me telling you this but they really do like like you even though they're not expressing it okay I really feel like um their focus is just really on something else but Aquarius there is somebody that you are really like feeling somebody's feeling somebody okay so for all of you, all of you, not all of you, for some of you, um, I have leaving, okay? For some of you, you are making the decision to walk away from some relationships that don't do you good romantically and platonically, family and friends. But also, I feel like someone's wanting to move a distance, leaving, you're, you're contemplating leaving. So maybe that's why the financial discipline came on. Just be mindful of what you're spending, okay? Um, you know, you can do it. Aquarius, I know that you feel like you can't do it on your own, but you can do it on your own. Ain't nothing like getting a little studio, honey, finding you a little job. You know, listen, don't be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid because you got this. Some of you are leaving. You're desiring to like start a new, in a new city, a new state, move, uh, you know, a county. Like you're designed to move, move somewhere, okay? I just feel like you're desiring to, um, to leave. And I feel like the divine is telling you too. I just feel like, 
you know, maybe you don't feel like you can do it on your own. You're more than you. You can Aquarius. Okay. There's nothing that you can't do Aquarius. And when you put your mind to it, baby, I promise you, you got this. Okay. You got this. Believe in yourself. Also, for some of you, we have new exercising program. You're really wanting to um, get fit. Okay. I feel like, like exercising also like changing your eating habit. Like some of you are awoke spiritually. Like y'all woke, woke now. And you know, you're um just learning about, you know, different herbs and different foods and you know what, you know, what's for, you know, it's like what to help you. I just feel like you're just really, it's something that what's coming to exercising and you're just really excited about, okay? Something wanting to start like your own like exercising program or something, yoga, like it's something that you're excited about um, when it comes to getting healthy um, that is really beneficial that's for you okay you're going to be crowning you this month also guys we have changing your mind okay so i'm seeing this a couple of ways aquarius okay um this is why you got to get grounded okay because when you are not grounded you're like this that grounding exercise that i did you have to do that because how can you make a decision how can you truly follow your your individual path if you're like this, how can you, how you can't concentrate, you can't concentrate. So when you get grounded, when you do that exercise, you bring yourself like this, you slow down, you see that now you can focus. Now you can think, now you can rationalize. Now you can internalize. Okay. But I feel like there's something that you're changing your mind about. Okay. Um, and I feel like it's going to be for the best. I feel like it's scary to do this Aquarius. Okay. I feel like you're in your head about it. Get grounded. But ultimately I feel like if you decide to take a change, Take a chance, really changing your mind. As long as you're being true to you, we have a windfall of abundance coming your way. Okay, so that can be in career, finances, your family life, love. It's not limited. As long as you're being true to you in the month of August and period, Aquarius, not putting other people before you because Aquarius does that. You're, you're very sweet souls, okay? But it's time for you to honor yourself. It's time for you to be true. It's time for you to go after what makes you happy and do the things that you desire to do, okay, Aquarius? Also, one of the cards that came up, patience be patient with yourself okay you don't have to get everything in the first try something you're doing something new okay some another sign was really doing something new too and listen just be patient with yourself okay have patience Aquarius okay it'll come it'll come I promise you okay don't beat yourself up have patience my love so now we're going to go ahead and get into the juice the tea <laughs> And that is love, honey. So I want to I wanna let y'all know this right now, okay? Singles, stay tuned, okay? Um, <laughs> if you are in separation, if you got a crush, if somebody you feeling, y'all reconnecting, y'all know, stay tuned, okay? If you are in a relationship, but you're unhappy, and there's someone that's caught your eyes or someone looking at you, honey, stay tuned, okay? Um, if you are in a happy, fulfilling relationship, okay, love, you good, boo, you good. Now, you can definitely stay tuned for this. You get what I'm saying? But um, if you, you know, I don't want to say, well, Tori, what about the happy couples? You're happy. You're good, okay? Now, if you're in a relationship, you fake happy, stay tuned. But if you happy, happy, you good. You good, boo. You good. You don't need this. Somebody else need this, okay? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started for love. So y'all ready for these stories? Y'all ready for this, Aquarius? So we're going to start with singles. Okay, okay. You know what? Honestly, I'm gonna just read it just how just just how it is. What comes out, what comes out, okay? Whether you're single in a relationship, married, whatever it is. I know that's those some hard truths to um swallow. <laughs> um but I feel like you're you're practically out of the door, okay? Um for a lot of you you are reconnecting with somebody, okay, from your past. I feel like this this is a good energy, okay? It says someone from your past is returning to your life, okay? With this person, I don't feel any negative um negative vibe or anything, okay? I I don't feel like this person's malicious. I don't feel like you know, you know like where it's just the timing was off, okay? 
and you come back together, the timing is, okay? I really feel like there's a reconciliation. Also, if this is a new person that's coming into your life, Aquarius, why it feels so familiar? You're not understanding, like, you just feel like you've known this person your whole life. We have a past life relationship. You have known each other before in another life, okay? We get, we get deep here. <laughs> this is a divine connection. There is a spiritual connection. There is a, there is a draw to this person. When you try to put them out your mind, when you try to move forth, when you try to like, you know what, I'm going to stay, I'm going to just be in whatever I'm in, but you just can't pull away from them. Okay. There is somebody coming into your life like that. If they haven't got there already, but for a lot of you, you already know this person. You're already still looking and you, somebody looking, you, you looking at this person. Okay. Um, this person genuinely wants to offer you something and what do they want to offer you is love. Okay. You deserve love. You're lovable. But I feel like a part of you really feels like this, um, this, this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. There's this strong connection to this person. Okay. For some of you, you probably don't understand it. Another thing is, um, like I said, I feel like even if you were like dating in a relationship, it, 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 it didn't make it, I'm hearing like it didn't really make it past the honeymoon phase. You get what I'm saying? For some of you, it could have been like a friendship, like it was blooming, like you knew what it was, you were both feeling each other, but it just never, it just never went anywhere, okay? It just, it just didn't get off the rocks, right? Okay, whatever happened. Um, now, the thing is, I am really feeling that um, there's a lot of passion um, in this connection, okay? Will be a lot of passion in this connection. I feel like this is a person that has their shit together, Aquarius. It's a person that is, you know, I feel like for some reason, there's a little nervousness, okay? This person makes you nervous. Um, I really feel like um, that's because, you know, with all this healing that you're doing, Aquarius, and it's okay, you're really learning to love yourself. You're really learning to see that you are the bomb. Like, why wouldn't somebody want you? Why wouldn't somebody trying to lock that down? Why wouldn't somebody be trying to talk to you? Why wouldn't somebody be interested in you? You get what I'm saying? I could feel like, um, you know, yeah, this person, this person really sees you, you know, for who you are. You're amazing. Everyone sees you for who you are, Aquarius. I feel like some of you, you just haven't caught on to how amazing you are because in your, I'm in your energy and you're, you're pretty amazing. Okay. I feel like, um, for some of you, you're going to be leaving a situation. Okay. You're going to be walking away. This person, this person, this person is here. Okay. Um, but before you can get to this person, I don't feel like it's really going to, there's probably going to be communication this month, but it's not going to take off because there's still, whether it's you or them, but I really feeling like you Aquarius, before you can make the effort, you're being guided to make the effort. Go ahead and just, you know, put it out there, you know, state whatever it is. However, um, you're being guided to really love yourself first. I'm not even like really, I feel like if you are in a relationship, you're so far gone. I can't even pick this person up. Like you're, you've moved from this. Um, I just feel like you have to, do it in a 3D, physically separate yourself. Um, but I feel like you're going to be healing some codependency. It says addictions are affecting your romantic life. I really feel like this could be in, um, in a, uh, what is it? <sighs> Insecurities. It could be of a, a tangible um, substance of some sort, okay? Um, I just feel like anything that's not healthy for you, addictions, you're moving away from it. You're finding a, a inner, a inner, a, a healthier way of being for some of you, maybe it's food. I'm feeling like cause sometimes, you know, we turn to food to be our addiction. That's our a coping mechanism. That was one for me. Okay. But I feel like you're moving away from this stuff. You're really getting healed. Um, but yeah, this connection is definitely genuine. This, this connection is definitely real. I feel like this is something that you needed because you haven't had love like this Aquarius. I feel like the divine is sending this to you just because of the beautiful soul that you are, but it's going to require you to work on yourself. Okay. Because for some reason you're looking at this person as if you're not worthy, you know, like, Oh, you know, they, uh, they couldn't like me, little old me. You're not little old me. You're amazing. It's just whatever condition or whatever relationship or past relationship or whatever thing that you've been through, you know, 
you took on that belief, but that's not true at all. You're amazing. And I really feel like you're going to be shedding these beliefs right here. You're going to be leaving these beliefs behind, really healing, okay? Seeing how abundant you are, um, you know, having the confidence to really set yourself free from a situation that is not for you, be it platonic or in love, but it's coming over in your love life, you know? So maybe everybody got something to say, but you got to realize you can't, you can't worry about what people got to say. Aquarius, you got to be true to you, boo. You got to be true to you boost. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and see what can bring you more fulfillment this month. Okay. When it comes to you, you have counsel of the light, divinely orchestrated helpers in a sub of subtle realm. So we have all of the greats here, Jesus, everybody in alignment, Mary Magdalene, shout out, you know what I'm saying? Buddha, you got everybody. So I really feel like you're not alone Aquarius with all these big lit lit leaps you're taking you have angels you have guides behind you okay in front of you on the side of you guiding you telling you listen to that inner knowing that voice that sounds like you that's god talking sometimes we're waiting for you know the divine to come down and be like oh my child move left you know what i'm saying like sometimes we're doing that but it's really going to be you or somebody that you really hold in high esteem saying, you know what? You know you need to go left, right? Listen to yourself, man. Go left. Just try left. It comes as who you are, okay? That voice comes as you. So it's, you get what I'm saying? So also, you're being guided to take a leap. Leap, okay? You go first and the universe will catch you, Aquarius. Just jump. Get out there. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? If you knew God was ba backing you, what would you do, Aquarius? Where would you go, Aquarius? Okay? Now, that's for more for yourself, for self-love, okay? Now, when it comes to your finances, okay, it says release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something, okay? And the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's success inspire rather than frustrate you if you can't if you can have it, if they can have it, so can you. So I really feel like maybe you have been working on something and it's not really showing its full flourishing and somebody around you is like killing it. Don't worry. It happens to the best of us, but go ahead and release that. Okay. Get on YouTube, find positive affirmations or affirmations to release jealousy, whatever it is. Okay. You don't have to compete. What is for you will never miss you. The reason Aquarius, why you haven't really got what's for you and you not like killing it. Cause you're going to be killing it like that too, but you got to be true to you first. You got to follow your path and your path is very different from what you grew up in. I'm going to let you know that Aquarius It's very different from what everybody is currently doing right now. You want some entrepreneur shit. You want some spiritual shit and they not there. That's just point blank period. So, of course, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're one to get out there and you want to moonlight, all right, work a nine to five and then come back from five to ten and then work whatever, you know, work your dream. People not going to understand that. People gonna look at you crazy. Everybody was looking at me crazy. Do you what you going to get paid by YouTube? OK, but guess what? You're part of the one percent. You're a doer while others are watching, baby. You're an influencer, okay? You influence the influence. You did I say that right? You know what I mean. You get what I'm saying? So just don't worry about that, okay? Don't worry about that. Um, also, what the divine needs to you to surrender in the month of August, okay? Or even if you start to get this picture in the month of August, this is going to bring some so much fulfillment into your life financially, okay? career-wise, spiritually, okay, um, within love, your relationships, all of that stuff, okay? The first thing is, is surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including in, in unavailable or toxic people. Excuse me, Aquarius, I'm so sorry. I was drinking tea, please forgive me. <laughs> but um, this could be family, family toxic Aquarius, the naysayers want to tell you how to do, when to do it, why to do it. No, I don't need you to. I'm good. I got this, boo. Thank you. Sometimes you got to say that to people sometimes. You know, this could be in love. You know, they're unavailable. You're trying. You're trying to work it out. You're trying to love them. They push you away. When you got somebody in the cut ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying. <laughs> it says, you deserve to be tre treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. It's time to let it go. The more that you hold on, I don't care if it's parents or whatever it is, platonic love, the more that you hold on to it, Aquarius, okay? You are, you know, you're delaying the beautiful stuff that the divine has for you, okay? We also have surrender to receiving support and love. Open up, okay? Open up, allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off, okay? And stimulate, um, stimu stimulate, oh my God, what is this? Stimulation and some something word, nurture you. <laughs> Basically, what it's saying is that, um, you know, there are people, you have a support team, you have someone that you can connect with, right? You want to connect with this person or not, whether you feel like you want to keep it all in. I really feel like you're being guided to really, there's a person on your mind and you know who that is, Aquarius, for each of you, it could be someone different or, you know, even like getting a reading done, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Um, whoever, whatever you're being guided to, there is someone you have support. You have people that can help guide you help. You can just honestly, if you just need to talk, release that. Okay. You don't have to hold all that on you, Aquarius. And lastly, we have surrender your fear of intimacy. Like I said, for some of you, there's a person that really, you're really vibing with, you really feeling you go, or they coming in, honey, you're going to be feeling them, but you're a little scared. So maybe right now is the time for you to really do that inner work. You are ready to let love in, compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. For some of you shut down, you run, you only let a little bit of love out and a little bit of love in. Okay. It's time to really open that heart. Open that heart, okay, Aquarius? <laughs> so the word that the divine wants Aquarius to keep at the forefront of their mind in the month of August, okay, is awareness. For some of you, your third eye, your God eye, okay, all right, is opening. And I feel like that scares the bejesus out of you. <laughs> cause maybe, um, for some of you, cause I, I am, I'm feeling, and I gotta be honest what I'm feeling for some of you, it's just a little nervous cause it's, it's just out of the norm. But the reason why I love the number three, okay. The, the third eye is just the divine. It's just God. It's just source, whatever, whatever you identify with, even if you call it the divine Trinity. Okay. It's just your intuition. It's yourself. It's an awareness, a spirit of discernment. Okay. That is very thick on you in the month of August. So when you see stuff, Trust it for what it is. Don't second guess in Aquarius. It is what it is. It might not be what you want to see, but it is what it is. There's an awareness around you. And I feel like this angel of awareness is helping you, you know, see things for what it is, you know, so you can move accordingly, my loves. All right. So I love you so much, Aquarius. I really feel like for some of you, it got a little dark there. So this awareness is going to help bring you out of the dark. Okay. So I love you guys so freaking much. It is such an honor to read for my lovely Aquariuses. I hope that this brought you so much clarity, so much inspiration and got you pumped, honey, about your life and where your life is headed. Aquarius, it was such an honor. I love you guys so freaking much and I will catch you on my channel. Take care. For others to follow, she blazing.